We are recording. Hello, I'm Paul Vanuk from Recording Magazine. Welcome to our latest video review. Today we're taking a look at the Onyx 16 Mixer from Mackie, which I also review in the November 2021 issue of Recording Magazine. Over 30 years ago, Mackie invented what we now take for granted as the compact mixer with the introduction of the original CR1604. Then around 2005, they introduced a premium mixer line called the Onyx series. I reviewed the original Onyx 1220 mixer along with its add-on Firewire card back in our November 2005 issue. The latest generation Mackie Onyx series proudly builds on that history, offering built-in digital effects, multi-track USB recording, and standalone stereo recording, along with the classic and well-loved analog hallmarks of the Onyx line that include the boutique Onyx preamps and Perkins EQ. There are currently four models in the Onyx series, the Onyx 8, the Onyx 12, Onyx 16, and the Onyx 24. Other than the channel count, the functions and features are the same on every model. Its digital recording capability is now baked in via multi-track USB, or stereo SD card recording along with an onboard digital effects engine and Bluetooth. The Onyx 16 boasts a rugged all-metal construction with convenient contoured hand grips on the sides. The Onyx 16 uses stylish black fader caps and colorful knobs similar to those on the Mackie VLZ4 series. The Onyx 16 features 12 Onyx microphone preamps with global phantom power. Channels 1 through 8 are mono and can accept mic or line input along with switchable Hi-Z instrument inputs on the first two channels. Channels 9 through 16 can be mono or stereo. You can also switch channels 11 and 12 for SD card playback and channels 13 and 14 and 15 and 16 for USB playback. Finally, channels 17 and 18 have an eighth inch stereo line input or it can be paired with your favorite Bluetooth device. Now let's take a look at the channel strips. For tone shaping, each channel offers an 80 Hz high pass filter, followed by the famed Onyx Perkins EQ. Named for designer Cal Perkins, the Perkins EQ is inspired by and designed around the EQ specs found in classic British recording consoles. The high and low shelving bands are fixed at 12 kHz and 80 Hz. The mono channels have a sweepable midband that goes from 100 Hz to 8 kHz. On the stereo channels, the midband is fixed at 2.5 kHz. You can also hard bypass each channel's EQ. Note that there is no EQ option on channels 17 and 18. After the EQ, each channel has two monitor sends and one effect send. Each send has a quarter inch output on the back, including the effect send, so you can use a favorite outboard effect rather than those built into the desk. Unlike previous Mackie mixers, there are no dedicated effects returns, so if you are using an external effect, you're going to have to bring it back on a pair of regular channels. Following the monitoring and effects section, each channel has its own pan knob, a mute, sorry, a mute button, and solo. Both the mute and solo buttons are backlit, which is great for low light situations. And when solo is active, you have Mackie's famous rude solo light. Each channel is rounded out with a 60 millimeter fader, along with an overload LED and a left-right master assign button. The effects, monitors, and main output each has its own master fader, along with additional controls for the control room outs, master solo level, headphones, USB routing, and more. The digital side of the Onyx 16 centers around a small TFT LCD display and set of controls dubbed Studio Command. Studio Command is where you access the internal effects, as well as the recording and playback of stereo audio on an SD card. The 12 built-in effects include reverbs, delay, 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 and modulation effects like chorus and flange. Each effect can be tweaked and stored along with a global EQ to help shape the effects. The Mackie Onyx 16 is also a 16 by 4 
2496 USB audio interface. The 16 analog inputs are post preamp, but they are pre EQ. So any EQ changes that you make on the mixer will not be routed into the DAW. Coming back from your computer, you have a choice of the stereo master output or two individual stereo buses routed to channels 13 and 14 and 15 and 16. Each Onyx mixer comes with a comprehensive software package that includes Pro Tools First plus the Mackie Musician Bundle, as well as the Waveform OEM DAW and DAW Essentials Bundle. At its heart, the Onyx 16 is still the bulletproof 16-channel compact mixer we have known and loved for three decades. It's the perfect companion for live gigs, band rehearsals, house of worship, and studio work. It also makes a great keyboard and electronic drum submixer. The Onyx preamps have a 60 plus dB range with a rich, clean, classic console tonality. Let's check out the sound of the Onyx preamps in action, as well as the Onyx 16 as a USB interface. My friend Matthew Louts came over and he sang, played acoustic guitar and electric bass, while I joined him on some drums. What you're gonna hear is just the sound of the raw Onyx preamps. There was no added processing or EQ involved. Let's take a listen. How long will it be before the old times fall? Before the days past roll, it won't be long. How long till it fades? The way the colors change, the way the light escapes, it won't be long, it won't be long, it won't be long, till it all goes and you won't know where you belong, it won't be long, it won't be long, so know it's time to find a hope cause it won't be long. Honestly, I think the Mackie Onyx preamps sound great, and quite frankly, they best many of the other compact mixers and budget interfaces on the market. I have quite a few friends that are still using Onyx preamps and interfaces now for decades running with zero issues, which just speaks to Mackie's longevity. I still rely heavily on external effects in my sound design work, so I do miss the larger send return configurations found on previous Mackie offerings. Still, for basic live gigs, and studio tracking, the built-in effects should do just fine to pepper in some space, delay, and modulation when needed. There are a few things to note about the digital capabilities of the Onyx series mixers. Like the EQ, the effects can be captured to a stereo SD recording, but they cannot be captured over USB. Also, as a 16x2 or 16x4 interface, you cannot mix 16 channels back through the mixer, which would be a killer thing to do because of the excellent Perkins EQ. On the other hand, with any of the new Onyx mixers in your arsenal, the need to have a compact mixer and a separate audio interface is greatly diminished. When I put together my first serious home studio back in the mid 90s, I had a Mackie 1604 VLZ Pro, an Alesis ADAT XT20 digital recorder, and a PCI based ADAT interface card. Altogether, that package cost around $4,000. The Onyx 1640 and Firewire card a decade later still cost close to $2,000. The new Onyx 16 does arguably more than all of those for about $700 street. If you'd like to learn more about any of the new Onyx mixers, or maybe read one of their product manuals, stop by Mackie.com.
Also, check out my review in the November 2021 issue of Recording Magazine. If you liked this video review, be sure to give us the thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to Recording's YouTube channel for further video reviews, product comparisons, how-to videos, and more. Also, stop by our website, recordingmag.com, for the best in all things recording, where you can subscribe to our print publication, which is now in its 35th year, and be sure to check out Recording's podcast on any of your favorite podcasting services. We'll see you soon.